hungry. Hey everybody, we're going to be doing a full gameplay for Ymir because I haven't played Ymir in a while. Um, let's use a different skin. Let's use Nuclear Winter. Ready for boom. Why does Ymir have all these skins? I have no idea. <laughs> but I use Nuclear Winter very often. It's one of the more rare skins, so I guess I'll use it. You know, I was level 29 when this my beta ended, so I didn't even get the Kaka Demon skin. Which sucks, but oh well. <laughs> I've come to accept it. Um, alright, so we're up against Hutchman. Not a horrible matchup. I could go Bracer, Aegis, Shell, or Blink. I think we will start off with with a Shell. Shell's nice because when you use it, you can still attack. Unlike Aegis, you can't, can't attack while, while using it. And then also, um... I don't know, it's... There's... There's not too many times where they're doing more damage than Shell, and you can't kill them because if they're trying to burst it down fast, you should have pretty low health too. Uh, I guess Aegis would be good for his ultimate though. But I, I like Shell, and also the block stacks that game I think are a little bit better because I can still attack while using it, you know? I'm just buzzing Bank Cross, very good. Got a lot of his health. He's going attackers, attackers into devos, which is pretty good. Okay, so he has one potion, then two multi potions. Got it. So one thing you can do with the mirror is you can uh, use your two and then auto this down, kind of. Leave it at this health. Wait for your two to come up, and then auto to auto, and almost no god can steal it from you. Not even. With Bakasuri, you'll have to use your freeze as he comes close, but there's like hardly any guys in the game that can steal from you. However, if they start attacking you, that's where you're in trouble because then you're going to take a bunch of damage and not be able to retaliate. Oh, I just got his escape. This is actually a really good fight on this, but this is still really good. He has nowhere to go, and I have my shell up, and he has beats, so it's like... <laughs> He, he really had nowhere to go. I mean, they, he could have tried running past me since my 2 was down and my 3 was down. But I would have caught up to him either way since he used his escape. So very nice. Now here, I might actually ult his blue buff um, to make sure that he doesn't steal it. Or I could use my freeze and then use my 2 to secure it. But he might steal it then. Okay, we're good. Yeah, taking as many buffs as possible pushes a lead in duel so well. When people ask, oh, whoops, hang on. When people say they're trying to get into duel, I, I always say that's the most important thing is buff control. Because if you have buff control, um, you're, you're, you will get ahead of your opponent, even if you're a kill behind. Just blue buff is worth so much, so is red buff. I would say having both blue buffs is better than red buff, but then you can't really box them because... Red buff just gives so much damage. I don't know the exact numbers for red buff. What is it? It is increases your magical power by 20% and then t plus 10 magical power and plus 5 physical power. Okay, got it. That's pretty good. Your middle tower is under attack. I thought it was 25 for some reason. Alright, so now we need to start working on our boots. Um... Pen boots are good. I've been going with pen boots a little bit more recently. Whereas I usually go cooldown boots because I feel like the more I have my freeze up, the better at, better situation I'm in. Did I get his escape? I think I got his escape, so I might just ult here. If I can get close. Oh. Okay, so now I got his ult, ult for ult. But I've also pushed him out and he didn't get all the minions. I can kill him here if he stays with my wall. I just need to wait for my mini wave to push. Also, I still have my shell. If he stunned me there. Oh. <laughs> okay, I almost died. If he stunned me there, I would have died 100%. I just would have been in the tower for a little bit too long. Or I would have at, at least had to disengage. I wouldn't have gotten the kill. So I would have either died for the kill, or uh, had to disengage and lose a kill. It looked like it should have stunned, which is interesting. 
Red buff is up. I'm gonna take these minis real quick. Doesn't even he hasn't even finished Devos because he wanted those boots to try and escape me first. Oh he does he not see me? Ow. Gotta you need to heal off this red buff a little bit. I don't think he realizes how strong my my Bancroft really is. He has no idea. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, Bancroft is Bancroft's a little strong. They need that it's like they don't need to nerf it because it's not it's not OP in conquest, but in duel it is it's a too strong. But then without Bancroft, it's like I that's one of my core items on Guardians. Like other god, other mages could probably live without Bancrofts and be relatively okay. Oh, I can't steal his buff now. That's unfortunate. I have three levels ahead though. Good half -life. Other mages can build other items and be relatively okay, but guardians, I don't know. I feel like they they need the Bancrofts. They need that power spike. Oh, that's a five minute game. Uh, well, that was short. But understandable. Uh, leave in the comments which other gods you guys would like me to play. And I feel bad because it's five minutes. But I'm going to try to be uploading more often also. So be looking forward to that. See you guys.